Hello, I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley, and I'm her daughter, Dr. Heidi Horsley. Heidi and I want to welcome you to Open to Hope Conversations, the podcast. We believe that the greatest gift you can give yourself after a loss is hope, using this moment to connect with others who have not only survived, but thrived. So let's get started. Welcome to the Open to Hope show. I'm your host, Dr. Gloria Horsley, with my daughter and co-host. Dr. Heidi Horsley. Well, Heidi, we've got a great uh, question today, and it is uh, from uh, Rob. He is an older gentleman whose wife died, and he and his partner, and he calls them his soulmate, and they're very happy together. They've been thinking about it. They've fallen in love, he says. My wife died two years ago, and I've fallen in love with another woman. She is my soulmate. I have asked her to move into my house. Do you have any suggestions on how we can combine our stuff? It would be appreciated if you do. Wow. Heidi, a lifetime, uh, an older gentleman, uh, and a, I assume an older lady, you, you've cre created a lot of stuff, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I've, I've worked with a lot of people that have these issues, and I would say that there's a lot of compromise that needs to be involved. I'm assuming there's a lot of, of his deceased wife's things in there, mm -hmm. furniture, things that have sentimental value, pictures, even their bed. Yeah. And, and you, you fill houses with things. So, you know, you've got all these items. I mean, there are all these books on decluttering now and all that kind of thing. And, and it's hard for people to get rid of possessions, particularly uh, his wife has been gone for two years. That's not a whole huge time. I mean, you might be pretty connected with some of those things, don't you think? I agree with you, Mom. And in fact, I know a couple where he wanted to keep all the antiques of his deceased wife and his, his, his new wife didn't like the furniture and she didn't want it. And she wanted more modern things and they, it was a real struggle and they had a lot of conflict over what to keep and what not to keep because at the end of the day, you have to make it your shared space. You have to make it your mm. new space. Important thought, your shared space together. Yeah. Wow. It's going to take a lot of compromise and then uh, hard to get rid of things too. I mean, who, who do you give them to? And, you know, how do you deal with the kids uh, on who gets what? And um, that kind of thing. If, if you're breaking up a, a big house or two big houses, um, it could be a lot of things that you need to get rid of. I agree. And, you know, sometimes you're not ready to get rid of things. So I always say, if you're not ready, move something, move things into storage temporarily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just so that they're out of your shared space. And the other thing that people really get the conflict about is pictures, mm. how many photos to have. I mean, because some of the pictures are about you with your children mm -hmm. and your deceased spouse. So okay. how many pictures to have around the house and to have an equal amount of pictures. So mm -hmm. how many of those to have around the house and then how many photos to have of the, the two, the new couple together. I remember our friend, uh, comedian Carol Scabelli, who's written about widowhood. Very, uh, she said one of the difficult things is, do you have a deceased husband at the top of the stairs in a picture? <laughs> you know, when you're trying to become intimate with somebody, and there's the, the picture of that past loved one. So where you put the pictures are key too, huh? I, I totally agree with you. And, and how many rooms do the, the picture are the pictures in? You might have to have certain rooms designated to the pictures of the people that have died. Yeah, uh, for your spouses. So I think the kids may have to get involved too. And, uh, you know, that's going to be a discussion uh, that you don't want to, um, Rob, I would suggest that you wouldn't want to have your partner in that discussion when you talk to them about their mom's possessions and what they think and how they could be divided and what you do with them. Because you are, even though it's your house she's moving into, you are going to have to get rid of some of those things to make place for this lady. Absolutely. And you know, while a lot of people think, well, the kids will probably fight over possessions. I actually know a family where the children don't want a lot of the possessions and the widower is offended by this. He wants his kids to take all his, their mother's stuff and they think it's dated. They don't want it. Mm -hmm. So it's, again, creating other issues because he wants to clean the house out because he's now involved in another relationship. Mm -hmm. So uh, something to think about. You might find a friend or maybe you even want to hire um, a declutter person 
there are lots of those kind of people around, Rob, and it maybe it would be worth a few dollars for you to have your kids come in before your partner comes in and uh, look around decluttering the house and, and uh, getting some perspective on it. Well, I agree with you, Mom, and they may need to do a complete overhaul and do new painting, you know, paint the walls different colors, put in new carpeting, and really make it their home together mm -hmm. and make it almost like a new house. You know, my own mom uh, at, in her later years was dating after my dad died and um, she and her, her partner, uh, he wanted her to move in and she's like, no, 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 um, you, you need to, I, I want you to sell the house. She actually wanted him to sell it. Um, she said, I'd like to get a fresh start together. And um, unfortunately they were never able to work that out. So uh, they kept separate places and maybe that was the best. Yes. Um, and like you said, sometimes there isn't compromise. Mm -hmm. I mean, grandma's boyfriend didn't want to sell his house. Mm -hmm. So she, they didn't move in together. So sometimes there's not, like you said, if it's, I mean, people break up over these things. They're, they're very, you know, emotionally charged. Mm -hmm. and, and you can, uh, she maintained a relationship with him not living in the same house. They went to events together. They had fun together and uh, until she herself passed away and he was devastated, you know, when she passed away. So they, they did balance that relationship. You know, one of the things interesting with them, Heidi, and I think with some couples this may be the case, they would go to Arizona for the winter. Mm -hmm. So they were out, out of uh, the area that they even lived in. For older couples, you can share space, maybe get uh, rent a place or buy a little cabin or something that is your, your space mm -hmm. together. Yeah. You know, and maybe you do um, not live together, but well, but if you do, we wish you luck with this. There's many things to think about. Again, let's review some of those, Heidi. We we've got to think about we've got to think about if you just go into the house, um, the bed, you know, where they've been sleeping with that person. I mean, maybe you want to get a new mattress or maybe you know new linen and new sheets and whatever. So there's actually the physical presence of things. There's also all the clothing. You know, people well, I, don't get rid of clothing quickly. Exactly. And I think one of the keys is not just to get rid of things, but to figure out how to continue bonds with those that we've loved and lost and how to keep them in our lives in, in ways that are okay for our new partner. Mm -hmm. And one thing I'll have to say to you in the end, it's kind of all stuff. Right. I agree. <laughs> if you really think about it. It's just stuff. Yeah. We get caught up in stuff. And, and this is really things of the heart. And I think if you have problems with your other family members about it and talking to them, you need to tell them that, you know, this is stuff. This is things of the heart. Well, we want to thank everybody for uh, watching this YouTube today. And if you're planning on setting up house with your soulmate, we wish you the greatest luck in the world. I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley. You have been listening to Open to Hope, the podcast. You can follow Open to Hope on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. To learn more, visit us at opentohope.com and go to Apple Podcasts to subscribe. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley. Join us again next week for another Open to Hope conversation, where we invite you to lean on our hope until you find your own.